Slunge, as slunge. in flange. I'm going to get a fringe. Oh, it really hurt. Mm. Woo. Good morning everyone, me again, welcome back to X and Media X. So you're not gonna hear from me much today, I think because my throat is on fire. I don't know why, I've just woken up with the most horrible cold this morning. It's been threatening for a week, I must admit. I've been so tired and so exhausted. I think my body's been trying to fight something and then today it's just all come out. So um, I think I'm gonna go on a day of voice rest because I have a Bumble event tomorrow that I need to be able to speak at. So uh, yeah, you'll probably just get a lot of fancy footage today of me bumming around the house um, and doing lots of work, editing the weekly vlog, going through emails and I'll probably catch up with you guys tomorrow. Brilliant start, well done. We lasted about two weeks into the new year before we got ill. <laughs> half past three but it feels like a lot later <laughs> it's uh, been a long day and I'm absolutely knackered I feel so poorly my throat's getting better I've just been drinking honey and lemon all day and it seems like it's easing a little bit and I've got loads of paracetamol and stuff but yeah I just feel absolutely knackered definitely come down with something I think but um, there we go it is to be expected and it is blue Monday today so it's the most miserable uh, day of the year apparently so kind of figures that I'd get ill <laughs> I have got a gorgeous new hoodie from Primark of all places. It's amazing. It's so cozy and it's got like this cowl neck top bit. So it just keeps you really nice and warm and it's good for me because I've turned down the heating uh, to save on the bills because we had a horrendous one in December. So I'm sat with my hot water bottle that Lizzie got me and in this really, really cozy jumper and my, uh, my joggers. <laughs> Comfiest work uniform ever. <laughs> Good morning everybody, today I am dressed as an Eskimo, I'm uh, feeling a little bit better today actually, we're out this morning giving Toby a, a good run around, it's very very icy though, so it's super cold, but uh, it's good to get out eh, I wasn't saying this 10 minutes ago. <laughs> team it is currently what time is it quarter past five and i've just filmed uh, fi filmished filling i've just finished filming a video put your teeth back in woman um on magnetic lashes and whether they are worth it so if you'd like to watch that it will be going up at some point in the future Ooh, mystery 
So tonight I have got a Bumble event and it's a bullet journal workshop. Now I have heard about bullet journals for so long and I've read a couple of blogs on them. I cannot get my head around it. It seems like a really lovely cool concept to do. Great for mindfulness, good for organisation. Um, seems right up my street because you know they're really creative and um, decorative as well but I just can't get my head around it. But my lovely friend Naomi absolutely loves bullet journal she is like a bullet journal master so i've hired her for the evening to run a workshop for us um and teach us all how to do bullet journaling hey team i didn't get a chance to vlog it was such a busy event and it was such a lovely one as well like literally as soon as we sat down everyone was busy uh coloring away as was i i found it quite stressful <laughs> it's uh it's incredibly permanent doing a bullet journal you have to like just do it in pen I didn't bring a pencil and yeah as a perfectionist it really stressed me out so I have started mine let me show you um I managed to do a front page and then I hated it so much I just ripped it out and started again uh, but I'm doing a moon tracker in mine as one of my pages um and I think I'm going to try this one out as like a practice one and then once I've figured out all the different pages I want in it and in which order do it again but properly in a different journal so um yeah it was really fun but quite stressful for a perfectionist like me so i've come home now it started to absolutely chuck it down with snow outside it's so so cold lucky we didn't get um snowed in and i got some nice cake from cherry reds because apparently they do really good cake and i nicked a bottle of the, the wine that was left over so <laughs> chris and i are gonna have a nice glass of red wine and some red velvet cake and i'm gonna catch up with you guys in the morning i'm exhausted i don't know why i think it's all the stress it's meant to be relaxing. Good morning everybody, happy Wednesday. It is freezing cold because it snowed overnight. Um, I'm all bundled up warm and I'm on the way to the hairdressers because today, drum roll please, I'm going to get a fringe. Oh, a fringe or bangs as you might call them in the USA. Um, it's something I've been toying with for a long time and I've kind of just been waiting for my hair to be long enough to kind of pull them off and not look like a Lego head. <laughs> um, and I think we're at that point now. I've just got the gut feeling that it's time. I'm excited. As well as my very trendy new fringe, today I also got a new ear climber. So I've been having some messages actually on Instagram and also on here. I noticed one of the comments from last night's vlog was where I get my earrings from. Um, because I kind of wear the same ones all the time, but they're like super little dainty ones. Look, they're kind of all, well, they should be rose gold, but because I have them in all the time and I haven't changed them for a long time, um, they've all kind of gone a bit funny. So I've rejigged them around and I've ordered some new ones. Um, I get them all off Etsy, just type in like dainty rose gold studs and you'll find them. So I have, uh, some bar ones, some dotty ones, um, triangle ones. And then this is the new ear climber I bought kind of sits it's like a pin so it sits like that um against your ear there's no stud um or bar or whatever it's called so they're really really comfortable especially on piercings oh, i can't get it back on now especially on piercings that are like a little bit up your ear um they just sit really flat so obviously you can sleep in it and it doesn't hurt your ear but i just really like it sorry my ears a bit red because i've just been squeezing the pin to making it make it fit and changing everything around um but it's really cute it's from a company called otis jackson i think yes otis jackson on uh etsy and i just searched for rose gold ear climber really and had a look at the ones that i liked but i really like it it's pretty and i've actually booked myself in for a new piercing of the weekend sorry mum <laughs> um but I just, I don't know, it felt like a little bit of a shake up. So I'm actually going to have my helix pierced, which is uh, just at the top there. And I'm just going to have like a really simple rose gold hoop in it. Like a really tiny rose gold hoop, almost like a cuff. So yeah, that's going to be my piercer ear with the three piercings there and then the little cuff up there. And then I've got just two in that ear. But there you go, it's all from Etsy and they're dead cheap. <laughs> Happy 
Thursday. So today, um, I'm just on the way to the station to pick up Naomi because she's coming around for the day. She's not feeling very well at the moment. So um, I've cleared my diary and we're just gonna have a little girly day today and spend some time with each other and just be happy. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go to Pretty Pots. I'm gonna take her over there because it's her birthday. Um, it was a birthday party this weekend and I thought that might be a nice little present for her instead of just your normal bottle of wine. Um, take her there, she can do some pottery painting and eat some cake and make something that will make her smile. Uh, and we're also gonna bake some shortbreads because it's Burns night tomorrow so Chris and I are having haggis again. Very excited. Um, and I thought we could bake some shortbreads for pudding afterwards. five o'clock in the evening I haven't vlogged today I've been super super busy this morning and then this afternoon I have taken it off because I'm gonna be working tomorrow on a photo shoot so just thought I'd have a nice easy Friday afternoon wash my hair painted with toenails started listening to my dad wrote a porno which is a hilarious podcast if you haven't listened before you need to listen it's amazing uh, what else did I do just something else I've done loads of stuff today, but it's been a really nice relaxing day and it's Burns night. So that means that we're going to eat some haggis and noops and tattoos and eat the shortbread that I had yesterday. It's very good. Um, but first I'm going to go into town and pick up some stuff for my new bullet journaling hobby. Yes, I am converted, um, but I need to go and buy loads of stencils and just have fun with that. <laughs> Why is he okay with this? He's a little baby, isn't he? <laughs> he should not be okay with this. He's so soft. <laughs> We're trying to teach Toby how to roll over, but he just won't get it. <laughs> ah. Toby, lay down. Wait. Roll over. Good boy! <laughs> it's the scruffiest roll over ever. Roll over. Yeah. <laughs> High five. Yay! <laughs> So we've been out for a couple of beers and some pork scratchings. How's your burns night so far? It's getting there. Haggis <laughs> in the oven. Haggis is in the oven. We're gonna make some truffle mash and some neeps and some whiskey sours. Oh yeah. I'm some whiskey. He's just having whiskey because he's a traditional Scotsman, but I like the whiskey sours. <laughs> Scotland when you say cheers? You say Slangevar. If you're being formal you say Slangevar, otherwise you say Slange. Slange? As in like, it's similar to the Irish, Slanger. Yes. Slange, as slange. in Slange. Slange as in Flanger. That's about all that rhymes with. Lange. Slange, everybody. Slange. <laughs> shopping for my fashion photo shoot and you are incredibly useful. You can come again. I have hands and arms. <laughs> so my photo 
shoot has actually been rescheduled till tomorrow so we've taken the time today to go out and buy a couple of new outfits for it because um, it's going to be for a big blog post with Specsavers and also for some Instagram content as well and if I'm going to be put on the Specsavers um, Instagram I'm going to need to look good so it's just a very good excuse to go shopping. Hey team, so it is about quarter past one, um, a little bit annoying that my photo show got cancelled today but it is weather dependent because we need to do it outside and it's going to be a chance to pop into town and get loads of new outfits and stuff. Still need to go into Birmingham today because I'm actually getting my ear pierced, I can't remember if I told you the other day, getting my helix done um, at Astrid and Mew or somewhere. Um, they just do really nice piercing jewellery so they're a little bit more expensive but you get it pierced with the thing that you actually want in there instead of like the titanium stuff for about six weeks that you have to wear. So I'm gonna go and get my ear pierced with them. Been wanting it done for a while, I just thought, I don't know, I just felt like the time was right. But these kind of things, I just wait until I feel like it's right. I'm wearing my little fake nose ring again. I really, really, I went through an obsession with these last year, or the year before, and I know I'm just obsessed with it kind of again, which is dangerous, because I'm going in to get my ear pierced, and I might end up having this bit, I'm not going to, but I might do at some point. I'm just, I just really like it. I still haven't shown you guys my tattoo. It's actually healed now, um, but it is on here. Let me see if I can show you. Will it focus? Da, da, da. Yeah, there you go. Oh no, it's on my face again. Um, it's just three little dots on my wrist. Hang on one sec. There you go. It's just three little dots on my wrist um, that stand for past, present, and future, and the present is uh, bigger than the other two, just as a little reminder for me to stay in the now and stay present and appreciate what's going on around me right now. Um, and I just love it, a little white tattoo and it's because, you know, it's really subtle but yeah, I really love it. I'm going to put it on Instagram soon. So we've just been and got some uh, bacon from the butchers because they do really, really good bacon and it's also really nice to support independent businesses I find. So we tend to go there for like any special meats, like any duck breasts if we're cooking something or bacon sausages, that kind of thing. Uh, I'm going to make some bacon sandwiches for a fancy brunch uh, and then head over to Birmingham. Oh yeah. Yeah man. I did it. I got it pierced. It looks really cool. I don't know if you can see. There you go. Oh a little bit red it really hurt <laughs> I just didn't even think about the fact that it might hurt I don't know I was just obsessed over whether I'm gonna want this forever and that's gonna be the important part um but yeah bloody hurt but it was over in seconds so it's fine um so I have left Chris in Birmingham he's gone for drinks with his friends and now I'm gonna drive it to Naomi's house for her birthday party so I probably won't film um because I know she's got a lot of family there as well so it'll just be a little bit weird um uh, I'll probably catch up with you tomorrow because yeah I'm just gonna go and enjoy some time with my mates I've had a really lovely day today. I feel proper, don't know, just happy with life. <laughs> oh, you're in your bed, you're scared. Never thought you'd find a dog that was scared of sausages, would you? <laughs> they smell so good, but they look so scary. <laughs> We're cooking sausage sandwiches today, and they keep doing little flashes as the like oil hits the grill pan, or like the grill heat on top. And Toby's really scared by it. <laughs> oh, Toby, it's okay. Open fireworks. <laughs> I caught you fuchin for bread and butter. I caught you fuchin. Good morning everybody, happy Sunday. My hair looks a little bit like a bowl cut right now because I'm trying to keep it as flat as possible so we can do all the different things we need to do with it because I'm on my way to my photo shoot in Birmingham. I'm excited. Oh, it's also gone fly away. Oh, disaster. I'm excited but I'm also a little bit nervous. I get like massive imposter syndrome when it comes to doing fashion stuff because I don't know, I've just always been told that I'm not very fashionable when I was at school, when even when I was at uni, I got made fun of for my clothes and stuff. Um, so yeah, I just kind of feel a bit weird sort of doing fashion things, but I guess it's personal style. It's how I dress. Some people might not like it. Some people might like it. So um, yeah, hopefully we get everything we get done today and it doesn't rain. It's looking really, really grim and horrible outside and it's very windy too, which is going to be a bit of a nightmare. Um, but we'll see what we can do. We'll see how, how much we can get out of today. Um, I'm kind of like combining it with a job with Specsavers. So I'm uh, getting loads of pictures of different glasses and stuff. So yeah, we'll see what we do. And I've got my handsome assistant there. It's windy outside. <laughs> I know, I'm glad I did my hair. Don't know how I'm gonna wear a hat. <laughs> oh, fashion blogger problems. <laughs> I 
was gonna vlog this before, but we were too hungry. Just had a nice little roast dinner and a pint of beer in the pub. Hey team, so it's currently eight o'clock at night, goodness. So um, we went for a lovely roast dinner after the photo shoot and there was a lovely like hot fire burning away. It was amazing. And we had a cheeky pint of beer and I had roast lamb and Chris had roast beef. I've officially become a roast dinner person. I never was a roast dinner person, but now I absolutely love it. And then we came back here, had a bubble bath, watched a bit of Netflix, listened to some more of my dad wrote a porno. Fabulous podcast, have to download it. Um, and I've opened a bottle of red wine. We're just gonna go and cuddle and watch Netflix has been such an amazing week, such an amazing weekend, and I just feel on top of the world right now. So, um, thank you very much for watching. As always, there will be a Primark call coming your way. Um, yeah, I'll see you next week. Bye! And fingers crossed <laughs> that it all comes up. I'm one of the cool kids now. Fancy bitch. Happy birthday! Yes!